In this video, uh, we'll talk about dilution. Um, usually in a chemistry lab, um, our solutions will be concentrated. What that means is they come in this stock solution of some concentrated uh, molarity or some high molarity. And when you need to use some solution, we'll dilute it to the molarity that we want for the experiment that we're doing. In this example, you'll notice that concentrated hydrochloric acid comes with an approximate molar concentration of about 12.1 molar. So that's a pretty high concentration. Let's do an example where we're instructed to prepare 350 milliliters of a 0 0.975 molar hydrochloric acid solution. So notice that we're taking the concentrated solution and we need to water it down, so to speak, or um, create a more dilute uh, solution so that we can use for our experiment. Notice the question is asking us um, to explain how we would prepare that solution. So a couple of key things before we get started. Notice how we're being asked to prepare a new solution. How do we know it's new? Notice how the molarities are changing. And so keep that in mind as we move forward in this class, uh, we'll be noticing that changes might be happening. So here's one example. The molarity is changing and we're asked to prepare something. So this is an indication that we're gonna use our dilution equation. M1 times V1 is equal to M2 times V2. And so the important thing here is that if we know an initial molarity and an initial volume, we can always change the volume to what we want and get the concentration that we want. So what's happening here is we're instructed to prepare. So this is gonna be our new solution. So the 350 mLs is gonna be our V2. The 0.975 molar HCl will be our M2. And notice that our initial concentration is given to us. Our M1 is gonna be our 12.1 molar. So how would we prepare this solution? Well, first thing is let's go find our initial volume. How much volume of that 12.1 molar solution are we going to need? So a little bit of algebra here. Let's look for V1. That means we have to divide both sides by M1. So M1s will cancel on this side. And so here's our equation. So let's plug this in, M2 times V2 divided by M1. Okay, so Right here, you'll notice molar over molar, so those units will cancel. Because those molarities cancel, and because here in, in this dilution equation, we're not changing the number of moles present. I mean, if you think about it, if we have a concentrated solution and then we just change the, the volume by adding water, um, you'll notice that the number of moles never change. So we don't have to worry about changing units here, or we don't have to worry about changing units with the volume. So milliliters, we'll go ahead and leave it like that. So when we plug and chug here, our V1 is 28.2 milliliters. Okay, so what does that mean? This means that from our initial concentration, our initial solution, the 12.1 molar, we're going to take out 28.2 milliliters. And this is our original HCl solution. And we're going to add some water, or 
actually, we're going to add this to some water to make a new solution. And then we're going to keep adding water until we get to a final volume of 350 milliliters. Remember, we're not going to add 350 milliliters of water. We're going to add water to get to the final volume because that's our V2. And so that's a common mistake uh, students will make. 350 mLs is the final volume. So how much water do we add? 321.8 milliliters. of added water. And of course, that will give us our final volume of 350.0 milliliters.